and welcome back Saints Nation and here we go it is going to be hard point on Rio Keanu College getting it started looking to push out Ruben with the first blood going to swing another as Cootie and so far the Saints on the board with the first two Defending this hard point is something that the Saints do really, really well, especially when you have players like Cootie and Ruper holding down these power positions. Challenging on the escalator now is Cootie, and he's going to get shut down by Aston for the first pick on Keanu College. Now, they don't have to rush. They can take their time here. Using the something to try to clear out Cootie from that previous angle, but it's going to be Ruper that takes it over. He's going to be able to get traded out, though, from Brandon, and Cootie tip picks up another one to trade out Seawads. Cootie with a double kill of his own. Rival 9 in hand, shredding absolutely everybody from Keanu College. College. St. Clair up to an early lead. And with 15 seconds left on this hard point, they have to play a little more passive. Aston and Kurz being able to pick up a couple of kills on their own. Now, if you are on the side of Keanu College, you're probably rotating over to the next hard point. There's only one second left, and that's going to be exactly what they do now. All four players of Keanu ready to try to take this next hard point under control. The Saints, because they were trying to hold that last hard point, are a little late to the rotation. And now it is going to be the Saints who have to try to derail these power positions from Keanu. But Cootie with a double, and Brandon with one of his own. They look to be making a good headway here onto the point. It is going to be Seawad to pick up Kurz after Kurz was able to get the final two picks onto St. Clair. And so far, a good hold from Keanu as they take back the hard point. However, not for long. Rupert picking up two. Brandon with another and Cootie. And that's going to be a team wipe. It should be St. Clair with dominant control now. And they can just play passive. They're trying to play around the spawns right now of Keanu. They know that they have to reach these cross angles with Brandon. He's going to find a player right now. It is going to be... Oh, Seawad's just getting a little bit into the sandwich. Ruper as well, but here comes Brandon from that power position. He's able to find the lurk onto the spawns, finds two of his own. Shoku with a wall bang. The challenge onto Brandon, but he's just simply too good. Has the triple kill, seven and two. I don't know if he's aware of the player behind him, but he's just gonna farm the spawns, finds yet another one. The swing, and Brandon, don't tell me you're gonna do it again. No, not quite. Shut down by Kurz, but Ruper with the trade. And a couple of clean kills from Brandon so far. It is going to be Rupert now with the pick onto Jed and St. Clair. If you look at the minimap, ladies and gentlemen, they have good hardpoint control. They just have to set up their power positions. It seems like this escalator is going to be the main challenge spot. But now Rupert sitting back. He knows the players jumping across. It is going to be Shoku. Great pick pick by him. Seawads, Brandon being able to find one of their own. Brandon with a double following Kurz's double as well. St. Clair so far doing a great job of holding this. And if honestly, if Keanu doesn't start getting control of this next hard point, if they don't start thinking about where this next hard point's going to be and they don't sit on it for a long time, it, they're going to find themselves in a world of trouble. The score is already 94 to 13, and it's not getting lo any lower anytime soon. Two seconds left on the next hard point. You have to assume that Keanu's on the rotate. They have the Saints outnumbered here. Brandon with a pick of his own on that MCW, that ACR for all of you old COD fans. It is going to be Cootie with yet another pick of the rival nine with Ruper following close behind him. All these Saints so far going positive. Seawads, I will say, for his debut, 7-7 seven and seven is nothing to be shameful about. That is quite a great performance especially because the nerves must be going on rapid fire for him. Probably adrenaline too. But right now, there's probably no one with more adrenaline pumping through his veins as Brandon as he picks up another one. 13-3. and three. Make that 14-3. and three. Brandon is on an absolute tear. He's picking up right where he left off, it seems, from last season. And he has quite the lurk right now. And if it works out, he might be able to catch three Keanu players on the back foot. For now, they are going to leave, I believe it is, Cootie, who is just anchoring that hard point. Rupert with a pick of his own. And now Seawads. He has the player on his right. Does he know about it? Yes, he does. Jumping, gets the headshot. Amazing from Seawads. And now the drop shot from Jed to clean up the play. And I will say, it's so impressive when you find these double and triple kills going down because at this pro collegiate level, when a pick goes down, that call is almost instantly made. And to be able to be a player who can then find the double kill and the triple kill on people who have almost exact knowledge on your positioning, it is quite impressive, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what makes these players at St. Clair and Keanu so good in their own right. But right now, St. Clair doing a great job of keeping themselves alive here. They just want to make sure that they have a lot of these players that are able to go for the push. Cody and Rupert are able to pick up two. Seawads with another as well. And he's going to find the double kill. Perfect execution from St. Clair. They take control of the hard point, and now they can start putting their own trophy systems down to get rid of any utility that Keanu throws their way. It's going to be Cootie on the challenge, but he's going to get shredded down by Kurz, 
An absolutely wonderful play by him, but is he aware of the scene on the escalator? No, he's not. The double kill from Brandon, one in the wall bang, and he pre-fires the second. An absolutely amazing play. Throws down the trophy system. So Aston, even if he had flashes, he can't really hit Brandon with them right now. That's what trophy systems do for those who don't know. They take away projectile utility. Rupert, that's an angle he's liked on top of the vending machine, but he's going to pay for it. Maybe doing it a couple too many times. Keanu, they've picked up on the trends, but they haven't picked up Brandon, who's going absolutely wild right now. 18 and 6. 16 and 6 for Cootie himself. And look at the objective time that Cootie's put down so far. A minute 38 and counting is absolutely incredible. Incredible. He's just been anchoring so well as he picks up the double. Pops, I believe, the dead silence. Should be making it around the way of Aston. He makes the pick happen. Do they know his positioning? Yes, they do. But the player's been stunned. And as the double swing comes out, it will be Brandon helping Cootie take down Shoku as Kurz trades back Seawogs. Brandon with the engagement on the double door. It's going to be Kurz that takes it out, and Aston is going to be able to find one on Cootie as well. Real nice to see from Keanu College as they like to battle their way back into this, but so far, it seems like whenever they just have a little bit of a lead, St. Clair, they're always so good at trading people back. It's so rare that you find that leaderboard lighting up in blue. Brandon with one, gets a second as well on the drop shot. Slide canceling his way through the building now. He might be able to pick off Shoku, and he's going to do exactly just that. Perfect job from Brandon as now he sits on the hard point trying to find his teammates in Rupert who are trying to hold the cross. It is going to be Jed throwing out the nade, trying to see if he can get some early damage or maybe intel on anyone, maybe taking out a trophy system so he knows where the Saints are camping up. It is going to be, however, Aston with a great flank before he gets shut down by Seawads. Rupert with one of his own behind the hot dog stand. It is going to be, I believe, a player of the Saints was just trying to survive. Seawads comes to the aid of the Saints player, and they take the first map on hardpoint. Give him it on Rio. They are going to have the first series lead. 1-0. Absolutely incredible job there from the Saints. If we look at the final kill from the Seawads again, it was just such a good take from the Saints. They were doing such a good job of trading each other out. But I really got to say, the highlight there is all on Brandon going absolutely crazy on the 23 and 8. I mean, honestly, all the Saints did so well. And for Seawads, the fact that he had 11 non traded kills, all the Saints, as a matter of fact, big non traded kills number, but especially on Seawads being a rookie. It is an extremely impressive performance. I will have to say, the thing that stood out to me was the fact that they weren't able on the side of Keanu to clear out Brandon. He really loved to sit in that escalator, and they had so many times where Brandon just outgunned Keanu, picking up doubles and triples. He's going to have to continue more of that if the Saints want to keep their lead, but I have a feeling he's locked in, and he won't have a very hard time doing so. We'll be back soon after the short break with game number two. Thank you, Saints fans, for sticking around, and we'll see you soon.
Welcome back, Saints Nation. We're here now on some SND on Six Star. It is going to be Cootie now throwing out the flash, trying to see if he can bait out any hit markers to see if anyone is going to be targeting that B bomb site. But it seems like Keanu, they've been going through to the A bomb site. They have the bomb right now in hand, but it is going to be a quick pick from Brandon. And Fuser drops cold. An absolutely nightmare scenario if you're Keanu. And now it is going to be Kurz who has to risky, he risky play, he has to cross over that angle, but he did a good job of using the flashbang to cover his rotation. But now, do they know about Cootie who's just sitting back? No, he is going to get a lot of damage though, but his position's been called out. But even though with the position being called out, the fact that he still clears Shoku is insane. Give him two on the headshot on Kurz as well. Whip out the secondary, my man, go crazy. He has to vacate the position though. Nade's being thrown out by Jed, but Jed has a lot to ask for. And as he positions up it is going to be I believe Cootie with a swing back around give him the 3k an absolutely special round from him not seen very often as you see the position being called out and Cootie is going to clean up three during that round on the back of an MCW crazy play there and honestly the thing with St. Clair that they're, they set up their defenses so well honestly they, they cover their cross angles it's one of the most beautiful things in the world to see if you're a COD player to watch these cross angles being covered so well by this team. They almost never let one of their players go down untraded. I was talking about that a little bit earlier. Keanu with a little bit of a change up to their method. Now they have to play on the defensive side. It is going to be the Saints that I believe are targeting this B-bomb now. Kerr is the first one too. He's rushing into a ton of Saints. He's going to be able to pick off one. Diffuser goes cold. But Brandon should be able to pick it up. It is actually going to be, I believe, Seawads who had the rotation. No, my apologies. It was Ruper. And now on the B-bomb, he has to watch out for this balcony just in case a player on Keanu wraps around. But it's not going to happen. St. Clair get absolutely picked off what I'm assuming was a gunfight that went down on that B-bomb site. A bunch of them going down. I believe it's a double kill now that we're going to see out of Shoko. Absolutely brilliant stuff with the bunny hops to avoid the shots. And an amazing play for Keanu as they take a round as well. One all so far as we switch sides. But I will say, a very a much better round from Keanu there, just being able to keep calm and just delay time. They had time on their side and they were able to find the double kill as well. So, great job off of the uh, Keanu College there. But now, it is going to be the diffuser. They have to make the play on the attack. It seems like they want to go B, but I actually think this is going to be a wrap A. There's no reason to have the two players sat on A. I believe it is Aston and Shoku. No, they are going to actually now wrap around to mid. It's interesting though, we'll see. Cootie's in a really, really, really scary position. He's almost going to be sandwiched if Jed doesn't move, but I believe Jed's just watching the flank. He might just stay prone there as Kurz tries to scope out any Saints that might be watching the cross. Aston, just part of the time. They have 45 seconds, so they have all the time in the world, but now the first engagements have to come through. It is going to be Aston and Curse to pick up one apiece. Brandon and Rupert go down after Rupert gets a kill to be traded out. Seawads, I believe, does see the player across the alley, and he is going to pick him off in Jed. And now Kurz planting the bomb on A. He needs to watch out because these two Saints are coming right through the hallway. He actually has a great angle right now. If he can just hold this, maybe hears the sound of the feet shuffling around. Has a purpose down. The first peek out is going to happen. It is Seawads trading Cootie though. I honestly thought Cootie was dead for a minute. You would have thought so, but Seawads is actually going to pick up the double as well. Great job taking the gunfights in and out between the statues, saving Cootie. Cootie able to get the defuse as well, and that's going to be a Second round going to St. Clair. Beautiful job there and a little bit of a retake there from St. Clair as well. I like the way they really doubled up. Cootie getting a little bit lucky. I honestly thought he probably should have been dead there. But Seawad's doing a great job to immediately respond to the call out. Finds the pick and then jumps around the statue to find that angle just in between the crevices to pick up that last kill. So a great job there from St. Clair. We will see what they can cook up now on the attack. It is going to be Cootie. Bomb as the A bomb in sight, but it is going to be Shoku who tries to shut him down. Cootie, though, going to be able to do just that. Aston finds a double of his own. Aston going absolutely animalistic as he picks up what I believe might have been a second as well. Absolutely incredible stuff from Keanu. They take it 2-2 all so far. And I will say, Keanu, I did say that the Saints have a little bit of a weaker SND. They are usually a lot better at hardpoint and control. 
and Keanu showing that they can really fight with the best of them when it comes to SND. Might be a story of both sides here. As Keanu looked pretty strong, especially Aston, given that he is 5-2 and two so far. So now, it is going to be the Saints. They have to defend. You wonder where they're going to set up shop, and it seems like they're going to go to the B-bomb. However, Keanu, different plans in mind. They try to go A, the split down mid. It is going to be the trophy system thrown out. Flashbang finds one on the side of St. Clair, so they'll know that this push is incoming. And now Shoku trying to dance around Seawads. I believe Kurz will have the first engagement on him, though. You hear the prone. Come on, Seawads. You saw the head for a minute there. Aston lurking around. He's just trying to see if he can find the first pixel. Sliding in, and he finds an absolutely beautiful kill. Cootie as well. One on to Jet. The respawn comes through, sandwiching Aston. And Rupert and Seawads are going to be able to get it done. As now the bomb being planted. But I do not believe it will matter. Sorry, Diffused. There is enough time to get the defuse off, and St. Clair will pick up another round to take it 3-2 in what has been a barn burner so far. It's just great positioning for St. Clair, especially on the side of Rupert. I mean, it feels like, he, you know, his game sense when it comes to just his progressions when it comes to gunfights, he's good at taking the first one and then immediately realizing, okay, where do I have to be? Where, do, where are my other teammates engaging and how can I help them out? He seems to be there all the time. I saw it a little bit in that hardpoint game as well. Just a great player on the support side if you need a second man in a gunfight. Two-on-one gunfights, of course, in COD are always probably going to go the way of the two. So it is now St. Clair on aggressive push. Keanu going to be cut down. But just as I say that by Cootie, Aston and Shoku pick up three total. Ruper with a trade back onto Aston. But you have to ask yourself, is it a little too little too late for the side of the Saints? And a 2v1 now is Ruper. And he has to play this very carefully. Bomb in hand, and he does have a minute. He can burn time with a Semtex in pocket. And I believe a dead silence on his person as well. So I'm canceling through it. Believe that he wants to kind of go down to B. It would seem like it. He's just going to have to play this so carefully. He might have heard the dolphin dive, though, from Keanu. He knows they're playing around the A site. But I believe they've just kind of passed each other. Yeah, Keanu thinks that they're on B. He's on B right now. And Rupert's actually going to get a free plant on A. Just a really bad COD timing event there for Keanu. But with the two men, they can play each other's contact. They can just play the trade here. And I mean, Rupert doesn't even know what side they're going to come from. This should be a Keanu win. And it's going to be just that as the first engagement comes through the window. The cut down by Shoku. A clean round there by Keanu. And they have more than enough time to defuse to tie this up 3-all. I will say, I love the fact that Keanu, you know, despite the COD timing, they didn't split up. They stayed together, and they did the retake together because those players can play contact off of each other. Even if Rupert gets the first one, he then needs to readjust his aim to find the second one. And the second one already knows where Rupert is as his teammate and him are engaging in the same gunfight. So the trade can happen. It was well played by Keanu. They deserve that round. They played it well. And now we will see how St. Clair can respond. Right now, it is going to be Shoku with the bomb in hand. Trophy system going down on the stairwell just to try to block out some of grenades. But Seawad's going to get the first one. Can he escape? No, not quite. Aston with the trade back. However, Cootie trying to see if he can find something, make something work. But no, cut down by Aston yet again. Aston going absolutely amazing. But oh my god, Brandon, what was that? An amazing two shots out of him. He finds the two picks, and St. Clair are back in this round. In a round that I thought wasn't going well at all, they find themselves back in the thick of it and the pick comes through as well for St. Clair the last player being cut down off of an amazing hero play from Brandon I have absolutely no idea how Brandon is still alive there but he makes something work call him Houdini and Rupert able to find the last pick to clean the round up and I, w I will say I mean I love the way Keanu played that to start but it just what can you do at the end of the day that's just goes to show you the talent of a player like Brandon he's able to find those two picks and he just flips the round on his head and now St. Clair they have to mount an attack going it seems that they want to go to this B site all four of them pushing in they need to start thinking about first engagements who's going to take what maybe throwing down some trophies but it might give away their intentions Keanu seems to have thought that they were going to go to the A site now they have to re-wrap through spawn to try to see if they can get a challenge onto the Saints the plant going down right now by Cootie I believe and there it is the plant down even though he was stunned he can get out of there 
choosing to hold the prone angle, and he has his trade covered, or sorry, his flank covered by Brandon. Brandon, such a good player when he comes to holding power positions. He almost never lets go of anything. Ruper able to find the first blood onto Kurz, and now this, oh my goodness, Keanu just falling like flies, but hold on, Aston's not done yet, Keanu's not done yet, he finds a double of his own, but he has to cross through Brandon, and that is going to be the final pick. It was Brandon, like I said, holding that power position. He doesn't have to move, even though they did get St. Clair's first two picks there. Aston was on a little bit of a rampage, but the callout comes through. Brandon, steady aim, able to cut him down with the MCW. Such a great gun for mid to long range gunfights. And now it is going to be St. Clair on match point for SND on six star. Aston doing such a great job right now for his team. You almost feel bad for him. He's 11 and 6, but he's just doing his role well. And now it is going to be Keanu on the attack. Shoku, 5 and 6. We saw him going pretty good on the hard point side of things, but so far struggling a little more inside of Keanu. They are, they are, you know, 5-3. It's not a bad score, but for the fact that this is the Saints' worst game mode, you need to take advantage of that. And Seawads and Cootie are not going to let them have their say in that matter. They take off three, and now Shoku finds himself in a predicament. The melee coming out as the wrap from, I believe it was, we'll, we'll see the name who that was. The wraparound did come through and that will be St. Clair taking your second game and a 2-0 on the series it was Cootie I believe this is just oh no uh, yeah, yeah yeah okay it, w it was Ruper on the wraparound I thought he got the melee kill off but it was actually Cootie who cleaned up there looking at the final tallies I believe those tallies are slightly false maybe just a glitch on the game side of things but I do believe all the Saints did end up positive at least it definitely seemed like it 6-3 being your final score and on a Saints game mode that isn't really favored for them I gotta say if it's Keanu it's not looking too good right now they need something big to come back in the series I'm not saying it's impossible but right now the Saints definitely have things under control and they're gonna look to keep it that way as we go to game three coming soon after the short break
Welcome back, Saints Nation, for our third and potentially final game of this best of five series on control. 30 lives remaining for both, and Curtis is going to pick up the first one. Seawads and Rupert trading him back out, but Aston trying to make a point of his own. Cootie cuts him down, though. And so far on these control maps, sometimes I really think that the Saints, you know, even though they do dominate hardpoint, I really love watching their control games. They're just so good at being dual threats on capturing zones and lives at the same time. And it is just now Brendan on the prone angle going to find his pick. Can he find a second one? No, not quite. I thought he was honestly going to get traded out by Shoku, but Cootie had his number. Jed able to find one on Brandon. And now Ruper holding the cross. He needs to try to find at least Shoku or Aston before the flank comes through from Jed. And that's going to be what cuts him down first. Cootie with an eye on Aston, able to pick him off. And now Seawads trying to just make sure that he finds the call on, on Kurz. I believe he might have an idea based on sound, but no. Walks right past him. He has no idea where Kurz is right now. Brandon and Cootie cutting him down. Kurz is going to get one of his own, but that will alert Seawads of his position. And he will be cut down. Brandon with one on a jet as well. So right now on St. Clair, they almost have two-thirds of A captured. You've got to assume that when the progress builds, it is going to be Keanu that has to drop on this. And because of this, they know that they can start getting progress on B as well. It's a beautiful play for the Saints. I believe Cootie picked up three there. Ruper with another one. And that's massive. The Saints can just keep on building control on the B side. And they can also take the third run A. It's really not looking good for Keanu here. This might be a quick first round of control. The trophy system seen. They know that they're losing progress. But it's just all Saints on the leaderboard lighting up green. You would think it's St. Patty's Day. But it's the wrong time of the year for that. Ruper with another two picks of his own. Absolutely insane play from St. Clair College. They do an amazing split take. Take control of all the sites. And they're going to be able to put the first round up on control. As if it was worth nothing. Beautiful plays there from Ruper. The I believe what it said on the bottom left was a six and three score, but I mean that could be a little inaccurate. I know in that last game the uh, the scoreboard was a little bit bugged, but I think we can trust it for now as this lobby did reset. Yeah, Seawad's five and one. I'm gonna assume that everything's all good and going. It would definitely seem that way, and if we tally up the kills, yeah, it would add up. So anyway, we know the kills aren't scuffed. We know that Ruper really goes to the and he's going to add another one. Cootie with two as well. Aston just being able to pick off a Saint, but the call gets made, and Brandon makes quick work of him. And now the Saints, they know where the spawns are going to be. They're trying to rush to B site right now. Brandon has the cross on one, gives the call out. Seawads with one, picks up two as well. The nades flying in. Aston takes out Ruper with one of his own. Cootie trying to get the aggressive push, knows where Jed is, should be able to swing the corner. Jed not able to find the shots. Cootie picking off Jed before getting retraded from Aston. Seawads, get this man off of that second floor. He is tearing Keanu up. He hasn't been picked off yet, and he's found three untraded kills so far. Probably a fourth one as Aston's probably going to enter this side of the building. I don't know if he knows, but hold on. Seawads with a team kill as well. Coming from Jed is going to be able to survive yet again. He takes up position. And are they able to clean him out? Yes, finally. Shoku able to make the work of that. But Ruper, again, it seems like no matter what, even when Keanu gets the play they need to find, it seems like the Saints are all over them. And with 20 seconds left in the round and the live advantage being so massive on the side of St. Clair, you have to assume they're going to take the second round very handily. Shoku holding the corner, but again, just shut down by Ruper. Killboard going all green. It should be the find from Brandon on Aston as well. He's just spraying by, seeing if he can find anything. The timer paused, though, as right now, Keanu does have control of B, but it just has to be the Saints that have to pick up a couple more kills to try to get the players off of it. I have no idea how that player was able to stay alive there. I didn't get to see the name before the kill went down and the board disappeared. It was Seawads yet again. How do you live here? The slide cancel, Aston. You would think you have to get that kill, but the movement might have just been a little bit too good on the side of Seawads. Able to take the head off of that player. And they're going to move on to match point. They're making quick work of Keanu. I thought Keanu would have made some, you know, they would have had some hunger. They need to find a big play to get back in the series. But as it stands right now, St. Clair, they're just so dominant on the side of Call of Duty so far. You got to think this is everything that they wanted in their first week of NACE Super Conference. 
Ruper able to take off one. Same with Aston as he trades on to Cootie. Kurz with another one on to Ruper, being able to find the revenge for his teammate. Seawads with one. Can he find two? Whipping out the secondary. The prone is going to be enough. Kurz with a beautiful play and a wall bang on to Seawads. Shower control now. Brandon drop shotting one. Can he find two? No, not quite. Kurz able to take him out with the trophy system, setting up one of his own. And now Keanu can try to take some of this control back onto A. It is going to be St. Clair, though. Switch their motives up. Seawads, I thought he almost had the pick there from the turnaround. But Shoku able to find one as well as Aston. Brandon, one with the Renetti. He has to see this player through the car on the side of Aston. Rupert playing around the tank, but he's going to be taken out by Jed. Now St. Clair, they're working on their progress on B. Cootie stunned out. He doesn't really know where the players are coming from. Seawads covers his back though as he gets the aggressing player. Brandon with one, dancing around the car. Rupert tries to find another one. Can he get the long angle? No, not quite. And an absolutely good angle from Kurz. He just stays composed, stands his ground, and he cuts down Cootie. But does he know about, or sorry, I believe it was uh, actually Seawads, but does he know about Cootie's positioning now? I don't believe so as Cootie's going to be able to take down Aston. Definitely aware of it now, but not before Ruper comes through and absolutely takes the head off of Kurz. Brandon, slide canceling through. Seawads has an idea of the next player, knows that Jed is playing around these cars. This is a position that we usually see Brandon in when they're in different game modes, but now Ruper and Brandon finding one. Jed able to find the pick onto Seawads. Position called out, but it doesn't matter. He's able to almost find Ruper. Brandon cuts him down eventually. Cootie with one and a Kurz. Aston onto Ruper as well. And it's just pandemonium. Shoku able to be able to find Brandon. Kurz onto Cootie. The kill board's lighting up all blue. You don't see this very often so far in the series. But right now, Keanu are making it work. The car blows up, and that is able to just hide Aston's push. It was a beautiful play there whether he intended it or not Brandon able to cut down the trade but yet a good job from Keanu as they're only trailing by one in lives here it's any man's game even with B control if they have the live advantage and St. Clair can't take off this A site and the time ticks down it would be Keanu taking this game however now St. Clair they're getting a little bit of a difference in the lives now as they take it from three to four it is Seawads and Ruper doing the job there they have two trophy systems up one gone now. And oh my god, was that Ruper or was that Shoku? I believe that was Shoku. Seawads with a Pred missile coming out. Not going to be able to find anyone though. St. Clair, progress on A is ramping up. They know on the side of Keanu they have to try to mount a comeback. But the kill feed lines up all green. And it's going to be all she wrote. St. Clair taking a clean sweep of the series in the best of five. 3-0. Give him 3-0 on control as well. 3-0 in the series. That's going to be all she wrote. And a really strong start to their week one in Nay Super Conference. Cootie playing amazing there. I mean, honestly, the, these players are just so talented in their own right. They on, they made Keanu, and of course, Keanu's a great school. They have great players, I'm sure. But St. Clair, you know, we have a lot of great talent here. I want to just briefly talk about it and break down what we saw today. First map, it was Rio on hard point. The Saints doing absolutely nothing short of what they were doing last season on that map. It was incredible to see how they trade each other out, how uh, players like Brandon are able to pull off hero plays, especially the double and triple kills where your position is getting called out after that first pick so it was honestly amazing stuff but I will say that will do it for now in COD it will be Saints Varsity Premier picking up the first week in the NACE Super Conference and I will say it was an amazing job I really loved Seawads especially the rookie player for a rookie debut that was absolutely amazing and I hope we get to see more of him well, I will say uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. Those who did tune in for the stream, you can find us at Saints Gaming CA as well. Shout out to our sponsors in Tim Hortons, Subway, uh, Alienware, and SRC and the SCC alumni. And shout out to my man in the back, Hayden Phaser King, who's been your director and observer. First time doing it, but I think he was doing an absolutely bang up job. And uh, he was nothing short of incredible tonight so thank you all for tuning in and watching it's been me patrick smoke chambers as your commentator and we will see you soon saints nation